a um, special Brand X review. We're just back from um, the local um, comic convention. Um, I believe my co-reviewer has been doing some um, reviews of his own of some of the things he got. I think he's been reviewing some Batman figures. But I basically decided to kind of chuck him out for this review. He's a rabid um, hater of Doctor Who and... Let's face it, he's a bit crap, so I just got rid of him altogether. That's because Doctor Who is shit, and you get, know it. Get out! <laughs> You're right. Get out! Uh, yeah, basically today I'm going to be reviewing um, one of my purchases, the Sonic Screwdriver. So probably be very familiar to any fans of the show. And yeah, he really does hate that was the bottom, by the way. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, this sent me back about £12, which in some ways it was a lot, but it was kind of what I was expecting to pay for this. Um, I've kind of seen them before when I've looked in places like Forbidden Planet, and um, usually they tend to be overpriced or be kind of um, crap gimmicky things like, oh, it's a sonic screwdriver shaped like pizza cutter or um, a sonic screwdriver shaped uh, bottle opener or something like that. It's like, I don't want that, I want the sonic screwdriver. I don't want like something that just looks like it but does something else. Um, so basically I was very happy to find this. Uh, they have, I think, various different um, versions for the different Doctors. Uh, this is of course Matt Smith's one, the uh, most recent Doctor, or at least the most recent as of this video, since he's um, been written out and replaced with um, Peter Capaldi. I think, I think his first episode's next month sometime. I think it's something like that. Uh, but anyway, basically, uh, it's battery powered, and apparently getting the battery out is a bit of a challenge, I've been reading the instructions. Uh, basically, as you can see, it's quite um, nicely detailed. Uh, certainly looks like uh, what this prop's supposed to look like. It has various um, kind of light-up effects, and the more times you press the button, the uh, different noise it makes. Which is kind of a nice touch. Also, because the 11th Doctor's... Uh, Sonic Screwdriver could do that, you can kind of do this, and there's like a little flip up catch, so you can do it uh, kind of like that when you're waving it around, taking like nice full effect. Um, yeah, basically this was, I think it's a pretty good buy for 11, um, 12 quid. Um, certainly, I might have actually paid more, but I am a bit of a Doctor Who nerd. Uh, basically, in the show, the Sonic Screwdriver is um, pretty much a mainstay. It's been around throughout all the new Doctor Whos. Um, in the classic show, it showed up around... Well, a very basic version of Sonic Screwdriver. It just basically looked like a black pen with a light up bit at the end. Uh, showed up in um, as early as the second Doctor. Um, basically, it would be odd for people who haven't watched the classic show, but have only like watched the new show, to... Um, go back and look at it because the sonic screwdriver back then is very different um, it was used a lot less um, basically in the modern show it's kind of waved around solve any problem like it's a magic wand in fact i think it was actually brought up as such in um, day of the doctor where the um, war doctor basically asked them what the hell they're doing like waving around it and it's not like a wand it's a tool um, basically, in the old show, there was actually a special rules from the script writers that basically this wasn't uh, do said machina. You couldn't just wave this around and solve all your problems. Um, it was used for simple things like opening doors. Um, it has been used for a few things like detonating mines, which kind of made a bit of sense because it's sonic based, so it could like vibrate them and kind of set them off. Um, in the classic show, this was actually destroyed, not this particular model of screwdriver, but um, the sonic screwdriver as a device in the show was actually destroyed. Uh, round about the fifth Doctor, I think it was, um, Peter Davidson, uh, basically in the serial The Visitation, uh, he's using it to escape from somewhere and basically the bad guy finds it and destroys it. And he's uh, kind of shocked by it, it's like, it's like a friend of mine's been destroyed. Now, originally in the script, um, he was supposed to return to the TARDIS, basically open this drawer, and he had like a hundred other sonic screwdrivers in there. Uh, but the basically the um, main guy in charge at the time uh, basically sat back and said, 
Well, we've had the sonic screwdriver now for all this time. Maybe it is time to actually retire it, so that's pretty much what they did. They kind of got rid of it. Uh, the sixth doctor, Colin Baker, never had the sonic screwdriver, and it never actually returned again during the classic series. Um, Sylvester McCoy, the seventh doctor, never had one. Although he is portrayed as using one in some of the extended media, um, like the Big Finish audio dramas. It didn't return again until um, the new series with um, the ninth and 10th Doctors and 11 all having their own sonic screwdrivers. Basically the design of them uh, changed as it went along. Uh, you got um, various different like bells and whistles. And you can actually um, get different um, sonic screwdrivers for each of the different Doctors. Except for the ones that didn't have one, of course. Um, like I said, this one is Matt Smith's model. Uh, there was also uh, one based on the 10th Doctor that I could have gotten, but in some ways I prefer the look of this one. And also, when it comes right down to it, I'm more of a fan of Matt Smith than I am of... Um, I don't have a name for getting motherfucker. <laughs> Damn it. Um, anyway, scratch all that bit. Anyway, I'm basically more of a fan of um, the 11th Doctor over the um, 10th. I think Matt Smith was better and I also prefer um, Stephen Moffat, the um, guy who's in charge of the scripts nowadays over um, Russell T. David. David Tennant, that was it. Um... I say I could have got his. I think there are definitely ones for like um, Peter Baker and uh, so forth, or Tom Baker even. Peter Day. Hell, I am a name for getting motherfucker today. I would say I'd cut these bits out, but I know what the arsehole downstairs is like, and he will leave them in. <laughs> yes, and I can hear the laughter. Anyway, I'm going to knock it on the head there before I forget anybody else's name, and make an even bigger like arse of myself. So that is it. The Sonic Screwdriver. Good purchase. Yeah, I've done it again, I'm an infocating motherfucker, I can't remember what the hell it is. <laughs>